Hello, Saga Soul here. Very excited to bring you the Eternal Cylinder. It just released on the Epic Game Store and I believe PS4 and Xbox. If you haven't heard of the Eternal Cylinder, well, I think the best way is to just show you. So let's not waste any more time and hop into the game. Uh, continue, I don't... Uh, I think I'm gonna go with chapters and go new game. Yes. Once Let's... upon a time, in the age of the Eternal Cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest, nor the fastest, and they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal and resourceful and very, very stubborn. It is with such a Trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. I'm so excited. What an unfortunate place for a beginning. I hope the sounds good. Run, something inside him said. Run. Move. Big. Run away, run away, run and run away. Closing in, closing in, closing, closing in. So yeah, that's a cylinder. That's crushing everything and it's off. And you may have seen my playthrough of the beta of the game. And if you have, then you will know what it is all about. The great crushing thing, the great cylinder, had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. Oh yeah, and now we eat this little thing. That's the wrong button. And... Just when it was starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. Blah, 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 blah. I like my starting Trebum, it's, it's got pretty colors. Oh, we already have these. Flowers, right. I was thinking Except of the Except for the grass growing on the old one's head, they were very much alike. I was thinking of the trumpets. Oh, it's an old Trebum. Surrounded by this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things. 
But the cylinder would not allow it. But the cylinder will not allow it. That's such a cool line. Run, the inner voice said, run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. I don't remember Omnobrons being present in this area. I, it could be wrong, it could have been. Go to the tower. Oh god. Quickly. The Trevum had to step on the symbol or the cylinder would not be stopped. Oh, it's speeding up. voice inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. I'm really, really curious of what else is this gonna happen. relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others? I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Thank you for that, narrator. Uh, right. I'm curious as to what else is gonna happen. I won't talk about what happens in the rest of the beta, in case you haven't seen anything of it. Now I'll keep that to myself. Until we get there, of course. Friend. Finding another Trevum was a cause for joy, but this new friend was not well. Thank you. Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trevum found the answer. Huh. To recover, its friend needed a very specific substance, which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trevum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago. How did I switch again? I can't remember. Was it Q? It was Q. Q. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's better. I the music was a little bit, little bit loud. I'm I'm really just nervous uh, if the about the sound balancing. In hindsight, I should have tested it first. But I just really wanted to get into it, so... <laughs> Where am I going again? Hello, friend. Not friend, not friend. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Thank you. It was hard for Ooh. the Trebum to know what to do or where to go. But the friendly voice suggested this was not the right way. To find your path. It said, you must follow the beam of light that emanates from the tip of the tower and stay away from the deep waters where the old things dwell. But what are old things? I wanna know. Okay, let's eat this fat fish. And we are big with storage body. Hello, Tango Groplet. Goodbye, Tango Groplet. Oh, 
poor thing. There should be a lake with an egg. Aha, there it is. Oh. Fin, fin, fish, fish, finny fish, fin, fin fish, come here. Oh, <laughs> poor things, so it's so tired. They look so tired when you run, run out of stamina. Okay, let's get swimmy feet. <laughs> and I can hear. Aha! <laughs> oh, I love that trunk. <laughs> Where's the egg? There, there it is. And hup. our young friend had found an egg, a trebum egg. egg with one of his siblings inside. Egg. Egg, 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 egg. Yay! Vimu. Welcome to the world, Vimu. Let us move onwards. Find other friends. No, you, uh, go, go, Googan. <laughs> nope. Stop down, bouncing on Vimu. Stop fighting. Ooh, there's a lot of dust up there. So if I can manage to reach it somehow. But it, you're, you're a little bit in the way, can you move? No, no, you're not, okay. He oh, yeah, oh, what's... Oh, is that the one thing that I've heard others talk about? I think it is. Okay, what's... <laughs> Let's see then. What is this gonna... What is this cylindrical thing gonna do? God. Allows the treble to crush small creatures such as glick bolts while rolling. So basically, <laughs> like the cylinder, okay. That's so mean though. Just go and crush another creature. It does slow them down though. Understandably so. Oh, that. Okay. Onwards. To find more friends. I know that there is an egg up there. And I know that there is a treble that you can find in the tundra. I played the, the beta a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I think it went through it like four times. So I managed to do a lot of exploring on these first parts. So let's hatch a new friend. Guvimo. <laughs> Welcome to the world, Guvimo. Yes. Definitely did not already forget his name. Need fuss. <laughs> They're freezing. <gasps> they're twins. That's actually really cute how they're twins. A 
Okay, now we are fuzzy. So now we can handle the cold. Which is good. Right, the other trebum be down here. Unless it's been changed. Oh, I did not see you. I did not see you at all. Go away. <sighs> yeah, there is. A blue. A blue friend. Hello. Vo Vom. Vo These names. Look at him. He's so he's so blue. That's a really nice skin actually. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so we have maxed out our Trebum tribe right now. Until we upgrade. Ooh, spiky plants. Ugh. And of course, we are, we have to get our good old friend Goggles back at some point. He's just taking a break, you know? Um, I'm just gonna take that and run. Go, guys! Go! Roll! Roll! Roll away! And on this. Now I'm spiky. Spiky friend. I'm supposed to be on the other side of this. Right. Don't fall into the cactus looking plant. Go. Such a. F these names are so funny. <laughs> Hello, friend. Great gar. And yes, it did just roll up what appears to be its neck, but it's not neck. It's. It's mouth. It's weird. <laughs> but that's part of what's so charming about this game. The developers were not afraid to have some really, really weird designs and. I, I love that. It really gives off a unique feeling. And now I am king of the Trevala. Fear me. <laughs> oh, Trevala, I'm so sorry. Ow. Uh, right, let's move on. We whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this door had been built for Trevor. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. <laughs> I love how the Trevum interact with each other. That can't have been comfortable. <laughs> Tap to quickly sh yep. We 
it's a spooky cave. Dust! And shrooms. Need all of the shrooms, guys. The more shrooms, the better. Never enough shrooms. Nom nom nom. Ah, yes. The flesh cubes. <laughs> I remember the flesh cubes. Somehow this ancient statue transferred knowledge to the Trevor. Ah. Organic cube. Oh, it shows what they... Uh, what mutation they gave now. I don't think they did that in the past. This extremely peculiar organism grows on Trebum rock stru structures and appears to be capable of deliberately rolling to new locations. Possibly as part of its repro reproductive cycle. I have been on. I? I? Who is I? Huh. I have been unable to properly categorize it, and the Treba memory cluster contains no information about it whatsoever. Who is I? This just got a whole lot more interesting. <laughs> it was as if a memory had been stored inside it, waiting for someone to absorb it. And as soon as this knowledge had entered their minds, the Trebum realized that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this Trebum made of stone? Cube time. <laughs> I am cube. I love these little statues. <laughs> They're so cute. But you know what the best part about the cube is? You can say the roll. Because that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, actually, uh, how did I... No. How did I... How do I open that? Uh, I can't remember how to open the thing. So I'm just gonna <laughs> press a couple of buttons until something happens. I. Okay, good. <laughs> I as in information. Got it. Don't have that. Um, you can. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, it's it's I. It's I. Okay, cool. C cool. That was me trying to say good and cool at the same time. As one does, you know. And we are saving the health thingy. Never know when it... Ow! Never know when uh, you need it. Dust, 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 dust. Getting all the dust. Dust, 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 dust. We need a truck. We need the dust. Some inventory management. Who do I who do I wanna give this to? Uh that's not what I want to do. Limu, you can have it. 
it's not the right button. Eat it. And Guru Vemo, we need you to open the magical door of cube. Here's the magical door of cube. Magical. And here's Gurumu, the elder. Hello, Gurumu. What do you have to say? <gasps> Dust. Okay, now I can listen to you. Inside the cave. Trebum found a living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. It said, you are young, so you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We, Trebum, are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities. Abilities passed on to all future Trebum. But this power is being taken away. Beware the servants of the cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity, and they have the power to rob you of your abilities. But if you persevere, one day you will find there? a way to protect yourselves from their evil light. <laughs> Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper in this time of struggles. Okay, I don't mean to be uh, rude, but how are those tiny little legs supposed to carry you? Anyway, moving on. It was not easy to leave the cave, but the elder had urged them to go forward. Suddenly they felt the weight of their many tasks. To find their Trebum siblings, to restore the powers their people had lost. And it all seemed a little daunting. But even Aww. when they are afraid, Trebum are stubborn. Oh no, friend! Wuguile, no. Again, that can't have been com com comfortable. Wuguile, I'm sorry. Oh. That's a good place to stop with the first episode of the full release of the Eternal Cylinder. Next time, we shall move onwards. And I'll see you then. Thank you for watching and bye bye!